That is the Rocketeer versus Star Trek wow. First Contact. Uh, yeah. Good thing I'm not playing in a match again this year. Um, Me either. Ma- <laughs> Mara, where are, you st- where are you going? Oh, why do you have to do this to me? Okay. <laughs> I'm not going first next time. I'm just pointing that out. Um, okay. That's fair. Okay. Man, what is okay. the next one? Okay. I love the Rocketeer. I really, really do. The score is amazing. It's so, it, it, it's uh, a perfect encapsulation. Uh, like, talk about goals and product and the fact that they sync up so perfectly. It's such a great joy to revisit. Absolutely love the movie. That being said, I don't know if there are very few movies I would vote against for Star Trek First Contact because I love this movie. I know this movie frame by frame, sentence by sentence, like every single thing about this movie. And you can ask Robbie Parker because I know obscene amounts of trivia for this movie. And I have so many five point questions that I want them to ask me that they never ever will. But (laughs) I love the Borg as a villain. Alice Krieg is just so sexy in this movie. I think that- Talk about uh, moisture points. Yeah, the time travel in the movie totally works. Um, Also, Data was still very, very appealing at this point for me. Uh, he hadn't quite gotten old enough where I was like, Ugh. and uh, yeah, I mean, this was such a, a great first movie without any previous connection to like Shatner and Scotty and all of that stuff. So it's just, the, the music is also fantastic, fantastic music, like that French horn um, suite that they have for it. So great. And I hate that you're making me do this. This is probably almost one of the most soul crushing ones because we've had like really great movies go up against one another, but I don't know if we've had two movies that have such a close connection, both in their timing and how they hit me. And that I, I hope, I, I sincerely hope that everyone else also loves these movies. Uh, and I also hope that you're in as much pain as I am. So I regrettably will vote Star Trek First Contact, but I'm not going to be heartbroken at all if Rocketeer goes forward. It's a fantastic film. All right. Paco. Uh, Mara, this is the Star Trek with Duchin Chefal, right? <laughs> right? That, that's this no. one? No. no. Oh, that's Nemesis, isn't it? That, or is that Insurrection? Fuck, I don't know. Uh, it's it's one of the two later ones. I, okay. I think it's Insurrection, actually. Sorry, we can, we can end this out, right? You're in the middle of a tournament. This you is, need to know these things. <laughs> I, I, it's Insurrection. It's definitely Insurrection. Uh, if only you were <laughs> from it. Star Trek. Okay, anyways, my, uh, the, uh, this is all a cruel ploy. Uh, because I, it turns out uh, I am also going to go with Star Trek First Contact. Uh, this movie fucking rocks. Uh, Rocketeer is very, very, very fun. It's very, very good. It's very pulpy. It's very, you know, 40s spy thriller, Nazis, Jennifer Connelly at the height of her powers. Um, but, uh, first contact is just so encapsulating. It's definitely my favorite TNG film. Uh, it's, it, it's probably my favorite Star Trek film that came out before 2008. Uh, I, I love this movie. Uh, I think it's Patrick Stewart's (laughs) best movie. Uh, in, in the role of Picard, I think it's uh, he, he gets the most to do. I think it's Data's most complicated movie. Like you said, the Borg are just like so fascinating as a villain. Uh, the the Zephram Cochran stuff I find just endlessly watchable. Uh, I I really really enjoy the first contact. So yeah, I definitely miss. All right, uh, Marcel. Mm, um. Yeah. I do have a soft spot for Joe Johnston and his understanding of old fashioned adventure. Um, and I feel kind of similarly to the Rocketeer, the way I feel like a Captain America, the first Avenger. Um, and just, just there's, there's a spirit, there's a, there's a current um, running in, in the Rocketeer that is just so reminiscent of, of Raiders of the Lost Ark and, and, that was so welcome in the '90s um, when things were becoming just so futuristic. After the like, you know, after the late '80s, like everything, there's just such an old-fashioned comfort level to the Rocketeer. Um, it has been years since I've seen it. I, it's been just years, so I don't even really know how it holds up. Um, how I would feel about it nowadays if I watch it? Maybe I'll feel even more. I feel like people get a little more. Uh, we get you know, fodder and more nostalgic as the older we get. So maybe I'll like the Rocketeer even more. Um, But I do think that um, it seems to be like a trend that like, 
I guess when Star Trek cast members direct direct the films, they really get to um, really the meat and the heart of of the characters, and maybe make the most emotionally impactful Star Trek films. Um, and I, I'll cut to it. I, I do I do really I do enjoy both these films, and I think both these films are worth moving on. But for all the reasons, Mara, that you and Robert were really t articulating really well, I'm gonna pick. Uh, I'm gonna pick First Contact. Jesse. So, so many different thoughts trying to um, narrow down which one to pick here. I went with a lot of different methods. Uh, again, both really fantastic films, and so when I don't have a really good way of discerning what I'm going to pick and between the two, I go to a few different places. So again, I was like, maybe I'll look at Rotten Tomatoes. And that just pissed me off because I think... <laughs> oh, God, both these are probably super underrated, probably. Uh, first Contact is 92%. Rocketeer is 66 And so oh, yeah, I swiped out of that page. And I was like, well, that just makes one of both Rocketeer <laughs> more. Uh, and so... I. I, and then the other thing that I looked at is the Rocketeers, a standalone iconic piece of, you know, pulpy. Uh, it's a staple. I think it's an absolute staple, both in IG and just like Joe Johnston films and fantastic, uh, entertaining, family friendly cinema. Anyone who hasn't seen this, by the way, it's on Disney Plus now. I just watched it a couple weeks ago. So that's uh, fun. I am going to use this excuse for the 300th time in this stream, and that's Star Trek's got a couple chances. It's a franchise. Uh, it'll get to win another match or two, probably. Uh, Rocketeer, it's the one. And it also speaks to me more as a film. It's something I'm going to go back and revisit more often. And uh, because PJ's voice isn't here, I will speak for him and his uh, tattoo. Rocketeer. <laughs> Mara, did you have anything else you wanted to add? Yeah, I did. Um, uh, Sir Patrick Stewart is just like dripping in that movie. Like they let him go full die hard. He's he's got a sleeveless shirt on. You can clearly see he's real. He shows his guns. Stuff. Make it yeah, moist. Um, I'm here for it. Like so much. Also, if anyone has an in with him, I would love for him to marry Dan and I uh, if or when we we do decide that we want to legally tie ourselves to one another for all eternity. <laughs> I mean, that feels like the only way yeah. to do that. Yeah. So that I does. approve. I approve of that. 100%. Um, you're putting me in a position. I'm sorry, PJ. I've never seen The Rocketeer. <laughs> I, I haven't. I, I have not. It's just not on my list of watched films at this point. I'm, I'm prepared to be disowned, so that's fine. Um, I don't think you're going to be disowned. I just think you're going to have about, about a thousand messages from people saying, so when are we watching it? When are we watching it? When probably, are we watching it? Probably. <laughs> um, so I haven't seen a Rocketeer. So I, I don't, you know, I'm glad that I, it's not coming down to like a deciding vote kind of thing because <laughs> I would be like, well. <laughs> uh, but I, I really love First Contact. It's one of my favorite Star Trek films uh, as I was going through watching, you know, the the older ones, the, the movies that I hadn't had a chance to visit because um, Star Trek, I'd seen some of the Star Trek TV shows a couple of episodes, but my first real introduction in the movies was Star Trek 09. Um, but I really, really love First Contact. I think there's so much to appreciate about it. And uh, and by default, like I, ha I have to vote for it. I don't, I don't have a personal experience with the Rocketeer. So, uh, yeah, I know. I know. <laughs> Have we stopped <laughs> the border? But he did. <laughs> but but, but he, he's about to. Yep. So that's gonna be fun. Yeah. So there, there we go. I'm dead. I'm about to die. <laughs> you know that gif of Ralph just sitting. <laughs> I'm in danger. Yeah, <laughs> that's I'm me danger, right now. Basically. <laughs> basically. Or, for the record, and I can try to look it up so I can show Parker. I photoshopped that same picture of Ralph when I knew that we were going to have a match together and I just put my head on. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, well, guys, uh, with that, First Contact does make it through. Next, we go on to the one that uh, gets Mara to swear at me again. Oh, great. Great. Robocop <laughs> versus Captain America Civil War. Well, and look, Jacob's an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> uh... 
Who wants to go first? <laughs> well, right, I know it goes. I, I can go right away. It's right. not a hard one for me. I Just because of my age, I have very little nostalgia for RoboCop. Uh, I watched it for the first time, I think, last year, and then once more this year. Uh, it's very good. It, it definitely has a lot. Uh, it, it's a very jaded movie. Uh, as far as its political commentary and its social commentary, uh, and I respect it a lot for that. <laughs> Actually, I, I think it doesn't shy away from the nihilism, which is very interesting and is seems very Paul Verhoeven from the few of his movies I've seen. Um, but Civil War is just like far more special and important in my life. So, absolutely, Civil War for me. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Jesse. All right. Well, um, you guys really hurt me with Winter Soldier, so I'm hoping that this is Cap Strikes Back, but we'll see. Uh, RoboCop I probably saw for the first time when I was about 13, when I finally started being like, hey, there's movies I haven't seen that I don't own, and I'd like to go online and find them and watch them. RoboCop was one of those. And I did not know at the time that it was rated R, and (laughs) when he got shot to shit beginning of that movie my 13 year old eyes got really big (laughs) Uh, and then you you got red foreman as the villain so that's iconic but civil wars um ironically i don't love it as much as winter soldier but i still do love it and it is one of my favorite films uh but it is you know it's it's in a it's in a bottle you know it's it's it exists because of all the other films it's not like you can't say it stands alone as its own great film because it's dependent on so many other things however it's still going to be my vote because i would much rather watch it and i would much rather see it go further and again r.i.p revenge for winter soldier damn it jacob civil war (laughs) uh marisol Oh, we have to. All right, I don't. I gotta get in on this scrap. Um, um. So there were a couple movies in 2016, superhero movies that came out about what would happen. You know, if if not when I will want you to take this side. If superheroes, <laughs> you know, uh, you know, if they became the bad guys, if we were questioning ourselves about what role should they really play in society, blah 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 blah, blah. and one of those ended with um, one of those, even though there are many, there's a couple questionable choices and has its flaws, ended with uh, um, <laughs> some serious stakes and death and and really cinematically impressive and epic superhero battles. And the other one ended <laughs> with pretty much a playground fight that took place at an airport where everybody's just, kind of punching each other and not hurting each other. And it just ended with a, a fight that you knew nobody was gonna die. It was pretty much a playground fight. That's what I feel like when I watch the end of Civil War. Um, and and it's, 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 it's something that is trying to match thematically what Dawn of Justice dove into in much more, in a, in a much darker way. I'm not comparing those two movies, I'm comparing Civil War to RoboCop. So. I'll steer away. I kind of touched on my feelings about Civil War. Um, RoboCop, uh, God bless Paul um, Verhoeven. Like RoboCop is is a is a classic. It's a classic movie. Um, it is it is a fun. It's I think really introduced. Please somebody correct me if I'm so off with this. Like I think it's one of I don't know maybe Americans' first introductions to to his take. Um, his his angle his so his super subtle not necessarily subtle subtle isn't the word really really deft blend of action and satire um um very thinly veiled satire um and dark humor um i think that uh it's it's there's so much more thematically interesting things going on in robocop um talking about you know privatizing crime and the dangers that that poses and there's so much to be angry about in RoboCop, legitimately to be angry about. There's stakes, there's death, there's actually things with a lot more gravitas that are happening in RoboCop. Um, I'm not putting my thoughts together really, really well here. Um, my point is that I think that RoboCop is a much more iconic movie than Civil War, which to me gets lost in the whole machine. Civil War, Civil War um, is a movie moving along the, the assembly line of MCU movies, I think. 
um, which um, that's how I feel about it. Uh, and I just, it just, I think it is, if you are caught up, uh, I think looking at it in the, in the, in the MCU, I think that it's, it is, it will be exciting in the MCU, but as looking at superheroes more objectively, looking at those films more objectively and looking for, um, I guess, darker takes on my superhero stories, it doesn't, it doesn't crack it for me. It doesn't get it done. Um, I just feel the stakes aren't there. Uh, and I'm not thrilled by the climax of that movie um, because I know it's just a stepping stone to the next film. Um, and I'm not here to bash that movie. I'm here to just champion RoboCop because I think that it's a great movie. <laughs> Those are my okay. messy thoughts. Those are my messy all thoughts. Right. RoboCop all the way. <laughs> Mara. Okay. I share every single bit of Jesse's ire at uh, Winter Soldier. Uh, just want to make sure I put that back out into the into the world. I really, really like Civil War. I think it is very fun. Uh, I revisit it very frequently. It's a great rewatch. Uh, I love a good romance. Uh, I think Zemo personally is a very underrated villain because, I mean, he fights tactically with his intellect to cultivate a situation in which people destroy themselves, which, I mean, I like a good brainy villain. And I get the criticisms, and that's totally fine. Like, he's not for everybody. Uh, I also really do love uh, the three-way fight between uh, Winter Soldier, Cap, and Iron Man at the end, and the whole you were my friend, blah, blah, blah stuff. Uh, that I really like it. Uh, that being said, if this were Winter Soldier, I would have a really, really angry, violent response towards you. And I'm not pleased with you, but... <laughs> I legitimately think that RoboCop is a perfect movie. Uh, I absolutely love its tone. I love its message. It's him at his finest, I think. Uh, I also have a great deal of respect for the fact that they did not have computer-generated effects to the extreme at that time. Like, most of it holds up. Some of it doesn't. Like, the really, really long arms with Dick Jones. But, um, like, I love the practical effects. The physicality of RoboCop is... Uh, something that I don't think people appreciate as much as they should. And I don't in, in any way begrudge someone like voting for a movie just because it is like more fun or more rewatchable. But I think there might be an ounce of recency bias or like people not affording RoboCop its due only because like it, it's like a really like sleeper good movie. Like I know people hold it in high regard, but when people talk about like what are the best movies ever made, RoboCop is never on a list. And that's totally okay. But to me and to Dan, who uh, literally said he will not address this because he, he assumes that Civil War will win. Uh, but just to defend its honor, I 100% say RoboCop. But again, I won't be angry if Civil War makes it through because at least Captain America will be seen somewhere in this bracket further on. Winter Soldier uh, was done dirty. <laughs> hey, First Avenger is still somewhere in this bracket. <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember if we've already if it's actually already... Um... I, don't know. I can't remember. I Tell. Um, ugh, I don't know what to do with this. Um, <laughs> that's good. well. I haven't seen. I've seen clips of RoboCop, but I haven't actually seen RoboCop. So this is another one where it's just like I feel like a fraud is trying to vote for this and because because Captain America: Civil War is my least favorite Captain America film easily. Um, I think it's a fun film. I think there's a lot to appreciate about it inside of the Marvel universe. Um, but to me, like calling it a Captain America film makes me a little bit sad. Uh, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I guess I have to vote for Civil War because I haven't seen RoboCop. Like I could do the chaos vote and be like, hey, maybe RoboCop is cool. Um, All right, do you want me to give you, okay. okay I'll, that maybe I'll, is a very strong word. It is cool. Uh, okay, yeah, it is so. Really good. I'd have voted. I would have voted uh, Robocop. You would vote Robocop. I would vote Robocop. Okay, so I, where does that leave us? I that leaves us with Lauren running in and telling us that Civil Dan's War vote wins. counts. Dan, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> my um, honey. Oh my god. That, that yeah. So and, that, and I think Sir that, Pounce's vote counts. Hello. Yeah. We didn't ask <laughs> Sir Pounce, play with the toy if you want Robocop to win. Oh. What? <laughs> See. Okay, what? that still didn't answer my question of where that leaves us. Uh, that leaves us with, well, uh, he's disappeared, but uh, that leaves us with Civil War making it through. 
Wait, oh, oh, sorry. Okay, okay, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. It's tied up. Um, if you have the deciding vote, Lauren's voting civil war, you have the deciding vote. Right. Cool. Hate that. Oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> and he's changed his shirt I'm again. Like, oh, oh man. <laughs> um I also have a Captain America shirt, but I definitely don't own those guns. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man. Well, I, see that just makes me feel like yeah, I don't know. Has, has, a, has a dick get shot off? Does that help? <laughs> Cuz like well, I already because, Nobody because gets doused like... in toxic, toxic waste in Civil War. That's actually true. <laughs> Ooh, we have RoboCop trading cards upstairs. Okay. A trailer I mean, a child. Of a movie that you haven't even seen, that's probably your answer. Imagine if you see it. <laughs> hold on. Hold on. I need to do a real quick research. Oh, she's doing Oh, I think hold she's on. doing it. Oh, no, okay, I think she's doing I think she's well. doing it. I think she's doing, the check. That's she's, so, doing, no, she's, she's doing the thirst check. No, she's doing the thirst check. someone text Adam, I oh. please? I feel like Adam is going to be on our side with this one. <laughs> Adam will defend, he will defend the shit out of RoboCop. Uh, yeah, we I don't. Peter Weller. I'm, all I'm going to say is Chris Evans is going to pe beat Peter Weller every day. No, right? no, no. I'm not. No, I'm just, I'm trying to just get an Peter idea Weller, here. Peter Weller as RoboCop. Right. I'm just trying to get an idea here of what I'm looking at. After his accident? So <laughs> so Chris Evans is are we going, to Okay, okay. I feel, like, I feel like, I feel like. It's an important I clarification. Like, I feel like if I vote There's for Civil War, it, here. You need if, to I, if I vote, if I vote for Civil War, it is going to be like a thirst thing. However, it is, you're right. You're right. I feel like that's right. I feel like that's probably right. Um, but my problem is you've got, you've got people going, oh, Adam would probably vote for RoboCop. Oh, Dan would vote for RoboCop. And I'm, I feel like they have both seen both of these movies. I mean, okay. If you want to go down that angle, I don't know if to end in Civil War. We we can go. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you want to go down that, right now. <laughs> if you want to go <laughs> down that <laughs> angle, I mean, <laughs> they do normally have votes. So, but that's what I'm saying. It's up to you. I'm, okay, I'm, I'm using my executive power and I'm ceding the deciding votes to those two people. All right, well, I, Marisol, do you want to text Adam? <laughs> Or actually, or do you just want to give, or actually, um, no, uh, Mara, just Dan, Dan has the I'm deciding Dan. vote. Dan has <laughs> the deciding Dan vote. Dan has deciding vote. Because <laughs> I, I feel like this is not fair for such a big For someone matchup. who hasn't seen it. That's someone who I'm hasn't saying. seen That's it. It's such a That's big true. matchup and I have not seen RoboCop, so I'm not going to do that. Like, I need someone who's seen <laughs> both of them to do this. I feel like that's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, this is basically what this has turned into. Oh man! <laughs> For the record, I don't know, Lauren. We have a resounding, a resounding. Oh, wait, 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 wait. We have wait, a resounding. Where's that? I can't see any of what's happening here anything on, anything on anyone's resounding. Okay. Robocop. Okay. An emphatic right. Robocop. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. There we go. All right. And, okay. All right, ladies and I, gentlemen. I, I tried, Jesse. <laughs> Robocop 1987 <laughs> has made it through. Hi. Oh, we just pissed off everybody. <laughs> uh, okay, I just want to say I feel like that was I feel like that was the only fair way to do it because <laughs> I feel like Jacob's an asshole. <laughs> Jacob's an asshole. <laughs> I feel like that was the only fair way to go about that because. Yeah. Because I just don't have, like, I can't. I'm not going to be that person. I'm going to need this because, next week off. I'm glad I'm getting married. <laughs> because, 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 which is, which is interesting because this is the only reason you're glad you're getting married. So it's <laughs> <most> <laughs> <laughs> 